Hello students, Mrs. Van Sickle here, talking to you today a little bit about setting in literature. So we understand that plot is important in understanding the story, the beginning, the middle, the end, but a very beginning, but a very important piece of the introduction of the plot is called exposition. And within the exposition, we are introduced to the setting. The setting can be, but not necessarily, be comprised of time, location, and situation. Here's a checklist of what the setting could possibly be comprised of. Time, time of day, time of year, time in history. It really all depends upon the entire plot of the story. Location. What is the scenery like? The weather and the location. Perhaps it's something seasonal that's taking place. Perhaps local customs or societal, societal norms are taking place. Let's take a look at this particular picture here. And even though it's not a story, a picture can still tell a story. Let's listen and watch. The piano player abruptly ceased his upbeat tune. Whiskey glasses crashed to the floor and all eyes widened and turned towards the squeaky swinging saloon doors as dead-eyed Dan McGrew's spurs clinked with awesome intimidation and in entering the dry gulch tavern. So let's ask ourselves, given that sentence that it explained the introduction to this particular picture, and given what's going on in this picture, what can we pick out? What can we detail regarding time, location, and situation. 